we got 4 cubed times 64 squared divided by 256 to the x equals 16 to the negative third. Give this one a shot on your own and, uh, by hitting the pause button and we'll do it together in a second. I hope you tried it on your own. Uh, now let's do it together. The, the bottom line here is you could see we got a 4, 64, 256, 16. These are all uh, squares of 2. So it's like imagine 2 to the first power, obviously 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. 2 to the fourth power is 16. 2 to the fifth is 32. 2 to the sixth is 64. And then... What would it be? 2 to the 7th is 128, and 2 to the 8th is 256. All right, so those are the, the exponents, the two raised to different exponents. So let's first start with this one right here, the 4 cubed. If you think of 4 cubed, right, 4 cubed is like 2 square cubed. Okay, so that number there, we'll put 2 squared cubed. Then we have 64 squared, right? And then 64 is 2 to the 6 squared. So then we have, you know, uh, 2 to the 6 squared. And then on the bottom, we have 256 to the x. Uh, now, 256 is like 2 to the 8th power. And all of that is raised to the x, right? Uh, and then on the right side, we have 16 to the negative 3rd. Uh, 16 is like 2 to the 4th. And that is raised to the negative 3rd. So... This big equation up here uh, can simplify all of it to a, the, you know, uh, the base of 2, like that. The next order of business will multiply these, all of those. We'll multiply it. So we have 2 squared to the 3rd. So we multiply the 2 and the 3, we get 2 to the 6th. Then we multiply 2 to the, two to the 6 raised to the 2. We multiply the 6 and the 2, so we get 2 to the twelve. And then we multiply the 8 and the x, we get 2 to the 8x. And then we equals 2. And then 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Now at this point, uh, these two guys up here, we could just add the 6 and the 12. So we get 2 to the 18. Because when we have 2 to the 6 times 2 to the 12, we add those exponents. So 6 plus 12 is 18. So we have 2 to the 18 over 2 to the 8x equals 2 to the negative 12. Uh, there's, a, there's a few ways we could do this. Probably what I would do is I would then just, uh, let's go over here, <laughs> running out of real estate, right? So if we go over here, we have 2 to the 18 over 2 to the 8x, then we could just go, here, I'll do it this way. We go 2 to the 18, and then whenever we have this there, we just subtract the exponent. So 2 to the 18 minus 8x equals 2 to the negative 12. Now at this point, we, we got the, the bases are the same, so we get the we could set the exponents equal to each other. We got 2 to the 18 minus 8x equals 2 to the negative 12. So we could literally just set the exponents equal to each other. We got 18 minus 8x equals negative 12. Now it's just a simple algebra equation. Uh, let's see, at this point, we just subtract 18 to each side. We subtract 18 to each side. Then we get negative 8x equals, now negative 12 minus 18 is negative 30. Then we just divide negative 8 to each side. So we get x equals negative 30 over negative 8. So, but it could simplify, right? Positive 30 over positive 8. Um, so what is that? 15 over 4. So that's the answer, 15 fourths. All right, if you want to get better at math, do this video right here. This one, right there, that one, that one, that one. Uh, and then you're going to love doing these. You're going to get better at it. Just keep on going, keep on practicing, and you're going to rock and roll. <laughs> Bye.